wall of China. Okay. <laughs> I'll just stick with the Vilo. And I think Shane's ribs in there. <laughs> really? It's right there. Shane's all got a rib place? Yeah, Shane's got a rib place. <laughs> I too. knew that was coming. Yeah. Anything to do with food? I don't think he owns it. I think he uh, <laughs> they let, he lets him use his name in exchange for a percent, a very small percent. Three meals. <laughs> of, um, of whatever money they make so he can afford to eat. He just gets to eat over there. That's the yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's tomorrow. Come out and enjoy that. Yeah, with us. it'll be fun. Hey, I don't know if you, have you are you still watching uh, America's Got Talent. Um, yeah, but I, I'm confused at how it works because they do like a two hour episode every night, and then it seems like the first episode is the one I just watched. So, I guess they do a full hour recap of the previous night's events. I don't know. I've never I don't seen. Know. It. I don't, I've never seen that because <laughs> I know they do a two hour thing every week where they bring back ten acts from. The tryouts, mm -hmm. and then the public votes on them, and then the next night they have a one-hour recap. Well, last or night one hour. Uh, here's who, who's going forward. Then maybe they do have a recap before it. I don't know. I don't record. It's just like repeats. ABC has nothing else to do for that hour, so they're like, "Well, let's just play last night's episode for this first hour, hmm. and then we'll do." Cause well, the last night's episode is two hours. The first night is two full hours with ten acts, and then the second night is the, here are the five acts that are going through. So how, how many more sem, semi-final weeks are there? I don't know. Are you taping them all and then watching them back? Uh, yeah, I watch you them doing? the next day. I, I mean, like, um, I watched the two-hour episode last night, which was from the night before. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the first, the first two-hour episode last week, I, thought, I didn't think there was a soul on there that deserved to go through. Yeah. I thought I thought they all really sucked that really? first. Yeah, all, every all ten of them. Even the uh, hot stepping people. I hate that stuff. Oh, really? They seem to have those on. They got almost those, every yeah, show. Yeah, they got cloggers and 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 uh, you know line dancers and stuff. And I just you know I don't need that. They're not going to go to Vegas and do line dancing. Well, it ain't what, gonna happen. What's your favorite? Not not in in this show, but but what's your favorite type of act for America's Got Talent? I don't know. I, 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 that Terry Fader was is incredible. They have some great ma uh, magicians. Um, they have some great singers. They, I mean, they've got they got all kinds of. Uh, talent. I just I'm not big on the gymnastic groups. Yeah. Like yeah. they they got a bunch of little girls on there last night. Who are, or something. Yeah, you know, and that's that's all cool, but that's not a Las Vegas act. Yeah. You know, nobody's going to pay eighty dollars to sit for an hour and a half and watch some ten year old girls. Do flips. Well, in most cases, I feel like that about those dancing squads that you're talking about. You yeah, know, the, they, the, the the hot mamas from Dallas or whatever they yeah. are doing the, the line dancing stuff. Nobody's going to watch that for an hour and a half. But the uh, but the Chicago guys that were, I guess they moved on the um, hot foot or something. Foot workings. Foot work. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. incredible. They're, they're more like the Blue Man Group. Well, that's what I was getting ready to say. They yeah. remind me more of the Blue Man Group because yeah, they use lighting and they use their costumes as lighting and their face painted. And I, and I could see where somebody... That's, now, I would watch that because yeah. they're, they're amazing. They, they're they really, really yeah. good. I but won't those ones that, that, you know, not up to that caliber, wouldn't they get weeded out as the show continues? you think they would. You, you know, as it goes on, I guess they will. Before but, they'd make it to Vegas? Yeah, because they, they have to have a certain number of ones you know aren't going to make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they'll have somebody to kick off when they get out there. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, it'd be like last night was tough. They, there were 10 acts on there last night, and, and uh, they, they all 10 were better than the 10 from the week before. So it was, it was a tough one last night. They, uh, they ended up putting through that, which I don't understand, that guy Jeffrey Yu, mm -hmm. the kid who plays piano uh, like a classical musician and then jumps up and dances. tries to do like yeah dances and, and stuff. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't get him. Uh, that guy, that, that black guy with that voice of God, that singer. Uh, Is he the uh, one with the backup singers? No. There's one with backup singers, and I just I wasn't impressed with him he at went, all. He went and got new backup singers like they told him, and he tore up. He, he blew the roof off the sucker last so night. So you thought he, even with the new backup singers, I thought, thought he was he incredible good... last night. I thought he was amazing. I think he's, I think he's got a record contract regardless. Uh, Lawrence Beeman's the big black guy who sings with this huge, like Barry White. Yeah, voice. Barry White, exactly. And then they had that couple that did the uh, the fire. They, he was twirling, burning guitars, among other things. He now was, is that a, is that a Vegas act? That's a that's a, a pure Vegas act. He'll do tricks. That's a pure Vegas act. I mean, that wouldn't work anywhere else. Yeah, well, maybe it's fair. He does tricks with guitars on well, fire? Well, he does tricks with fire. He's a fire breather. He juggles fire stuff. He oh. does tricks with fire. He's a yeah. fire guy. Okay. Um, scary looking fellow, too. And foot, uh, foot workings went through last night. 
Uh, those are the ones that went through last night. I oh, and that, and that contortionist dancer. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, you didn't see him? Uh-uh. Oh, gee whiz. This guy is, is uh, hard to explain. It's like, well, what do we do with him? Because this guy can jump up in the air in the middle of a dance routine and put his both feet behind his head and come down in a split uh, on his knees mm-hmm. and then pop back up and... I mean, it's just amazing to watch this guy bend and twist and, and dance That's all. That's got to leave a mark. Oh, I thought I swear. Last night, I think he lost something because he finished the show with this split, and uh, he was covering himself up while he was talking the whole time. Stanner, you knew he was like, "Oh God, please just get me off the show." You know, it's. <laughs> oh, that sounds exactly like something I want to watch. <laughs> That's like those twisty fellas over that Cirque yeah, du Soleil. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. This guy, this guy's like a one-man Cirque. Du Soleil. That's, that, that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>